Welcome student athletes, coaches, and athletic directors. My name is Nicole Legler. I'm a sports dietitian, owner of Always in Motion Nutrition, partnering here with Excel Sports on another one of our team talks, this week focusing on post-game refueling. Let's get started. When we talk about post-competition, we are going to be talking about the three R's for objectives of refueling today. Those include replenishing lost energy stores, repairing muscle damage that occurs during competition, and rehydrating all of the fluid losses that we had during competition. When thinking about post-game, we're going to talk about the concept called an anabolic window. This is the time after your training or competition where your muscle storage sites are heightened and ready for fuel. Floodgates are open and they want to be replenished, repaired, and rehydrated. So during the two hours from the time your competition ends, two hours afterwards, our muscles are most heightened and ready for refueling. And so this is the time we really want to focus on implementing these nutrition strategies to recover most effectively. Starting with the first R, replenish. The first goal is to replenish lost energy stores. During your competition, we're using a significant amount of stored carbohydrates known as glycogen for energy. So after the competition, the goal is to replenish all of these stores that were lost with an abundance of carbohydrates. Specifically, when we talk about carbohydrates, we're looking to aim for quick carbs, something that's going to get into your bloodstream and therefore your muscles as fast as possible after competition. This may include fruit, dried fruit or fruits bar, like that's it bars, crackers, pretzels with some extra salt, which will go with our rehydrating tactic or something like a white bread, rice or tortilla. The white or refined carbohydrates here are going to work faster to get to your muscles versus a whole grain such as brown rice rice or whole wheat. So here we're looking to replenish with as quick as carbohydrates as possible within that two hour window. Second to that, we want to repair the muscle damage. Since you're likely performing at high intensity and near maximal effort, your muscles are going to have these micro tears and are going to be damaged as a result of game day. So in order to recover most effectively, our goal is to fuel with lean protein to repair the muscle damage and support stronger muscles as they rebuild. Specifically with protein post-competition, our goal is to not only to repair the damage, but by doing so effectively, we're going to build back stronger muscles so you can continue to progress all season long. So we're trying to aim for what's called a lean protein here. So something like a whey protein isolate or plant protein powder, something that's lower fat like chicken breast, ground turkey, lean ground beef, trying to aim for 90% or higher, reduced fat dairy such as chocolate milk, Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, or plant-based proteins such as tofu or tempeh all work as a great protein source to have after your game day. And third, we're looking to rehydrate lost fuel stores. So we've talked a little bit about hydration in another team talk. Go back and listen to that if you have not already to, for the specifics of hydration. But for post-game specifically, we are going to be losing a lot of sweat and fluid loss due to those high-intensity efforts during game day. After the competition, our goal is to rehydrate your body and reestablish what's called electrolyte balance. If you've ever experienced cramping post-game, that's a result of being dehydrated or not having that electrolyte balance. So here in that two hours post-game, we really want to rehydrate and also probably add back in some electrolytes lost through our sweat. So here we're going to try to aim for somewhere between 16 to 24 ounces of fluid or if you do weigh yourself before and after the game for every pound lost during competition we want to refuel with 16 ounces per pound if you want a specific that works for your body if weight is something that you do not integrate during your game days aim for somewhere between 16 to 24 ounces within the first couple hours but most importantly check your urine because within those two hours the goal is that your urine returns to a pale yellow color if it's in a darker yellow or deeper shade, we want to continue to hydrate more. Some recovery meal ideas. So putting all these things together, replenish, repair, and rehydrate. Here's some game days to try out next time. Chicken, rice bowl, water would be great. So having something like a white rice or chicken, like a chipotle or a cadoba bowl, or make it yourself, some sort of bowl here where you're adding, incorporating some lean protein, some quick carbohydrates, and some fluids a protein smoothie plus some granola on top, or maybe a rice cake or some crackers on the side, 
chocolate milk in a sandwich. Again, that chocolate milk is going to give us some protein, some quick carbs, as well as fluid and in the sandwich, some abundance of volume there as well or a Gatorade and a protein bar. So let's say your meal, you can't get home for a meal within the first couple hours, try to pack something like a bar and a Gatorade just to get some replenishment and refueling right off the bat and then get home or get back to school and have a full meal as soon as you can. If you have any questions or want more ideas for your specific competitions or nutrient timing, my contact information is linked with this team talk. So feel free to reach out with me directly, but if not go Excel and refuel after your competition. 